Hi, welcome to Rick Snyder's Washington on YouTube, where you get the whole story. So please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the thanks button. Monday, 8 to 9 Eastern, I am going to be talking on YouTube, live chat, Washington Commanders, come on and watch. All right, now I'm sure we're going to talk about this a little bit. The Commanders cut uh, kicker Brandon McManus uh, after all these allegations came out about allegedly sexually harassing two flight attendant, attendants last year. Uh, when he was part of the Jacksonville Jaguars on a flight there. Uh, and Jane Doe 1 and 2 are suing him now for money, and they're claiming it's not true, and uh, whatever. So the, now the commanders had to look at this and go, what are we going to do? Because this franchise cannot take, uh, you know, a sexual misconduct situation. I mean, yeah, Dan Snyder's gone, but that kind of thing still lingers. they got to look like zero tolerance. Maybe they looked into it and thought, mm, something here. I, or maybe they just decided it wasn't worth you know, dealing with. But either way, let them go. But here's the thing. They don't have a kicker. Here we are in June. All the good ones are tied up for sure. I thought, where's Joey Sly? Because I know he got let go when he went after Jacksonville. And then he signed with New England. I don't know if he'd have come back anyway. I would have said, Joey, baby, we're just teasing about this, man. Come on back. But, you know, Joey's gone now. And a kicker can kill you. I mean, North Turner would have had so much more success if he had just had a kicker. Well, this team hasn't had a really good kicker in a long time. I mean, so, I don't know, we're talking Chip Lowmiller. I mean, you know, Mark Mosley. Mark Mosley could still kick a 35-yarder, I'll bet, out there. I mean, he's in his 70s, so he can't kick 50s anymore. But, you know, this team's definitely got to go look for a kicker. I wouldn't be surprised if they go through two or three this year, the way the wind blows on these things. One other note, uh, Jane Daniels is going to throw out the first pitch at the Washington Nationals game on Sunday against the Atlanta Braves, 135 start. So if you want to see his throwing arm, we'll see what he can do. I'm Rick Snyder. Thanks for coming. I'll talk to you 8 to 9 Monday night.